So I'm all packed, ready for cloud camp. Poor little doggy doesn't want me to go. Bye darling. The Astro bus is all parked up and loaded up and uh, well apparently people live in these but God knows how because the back is completely full and uh, yeah I think I filled it up so hopefully I've got everything if I've forgotten anything I'll find out when I get there but uh, looking at about a three and a half to four hour drive now to Ludlow in Shropshire so uh, right, I'm going to get on the road and uh, I'll see you there I had an hour sitting on a car park on the M25, it was lovely. Yeah. Uh, where's pitch two then? Is it over that way? I think, I think they're down the bottom, but according to me, there's a hard stand in the queue on it, right? Mick's gone out of there. I don't mind really, I'm not really fussed. I've got a tent to stick to the side anyway. How you going, mate? Yeah, <laughs> don't shoot me five hours. <laughs> it weren't that bad. Where were you Plenty of snow on the way through. Number two I'm on, I think.
So it's all uh, very rock sand tonight with me red lights in the van and the red light on me head. I need to turn this one off. Ooh. That's it. Right. Got the heater on in there, which is lovely. I'm here. I'm just talking to myself because I'm a nut. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time, but I'm, I'm talking to my phone. Oh. Say hello to the Magnus, Glenn. Hello, everyone. It's um, cold. It is bloody cold. <laughs> it? It, is, it is really, really cold. But uh, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. It's it looking is, good. Look, we've got flowers out already. It's looking good. There was Mick from uh, Cloud Magnets. Got a lovely group of people here. We're all having a fun time. We've all had a big meal at the uh, local pub. None of us can move, so uh, let's so clean this off. Everyone, we're, uh, Andy's down there, got Neil over there, got some sheep over there, and Mick looks like he's doing a live feed for everyone. And uh, yeah, we're just all getting set up and ready to go, so I'm gonna get my rig out, make sure it's balanced and see whether we can uh, pick up Polaris and then um, well I'm hoping to go for the dark shark tonight we'll uh, we'll have to see how that goes right, I'm gonna put you down here so you can watch me and I'm gonna see if I can get everything set up and going Right then, time to fill up my cup for a nice coffee.
Well, the weather's been a little bit changeable at Cloud Camp. Uh, at the moment, we've got uh, a light dusting of sleet and snow, but the forecast is actually another clear night, so hopefully it's that weather that's coming our way and uh, it'll be nice again and then I'll be able to get a third night on the dark shark and uh, try and improve on that image but we're all getting ready now for uh, a trip to the local pub for dinner and uh, get some uh, chow okay I'll catch up with you all later bye for now so my last night here third night and um, had an absolutely amazing time and cannot believe it, it looks like it's going to be clear again. Um, just watched a lovely sunset. Um, I've got the main rig set up now uh, with the 130 PDS um, and she's all ready to go. Actually, I know I've just forgotten to do one thing and that is we just need to go into EQ mod because it's all been shut down and then go across to enable periodic or permanent periodic error correction turn that on and then got three flashes on the mount we know that's in so the pack training that I've done on this mount is now in we've had quite good guiding uh, scene's been a little bit off at times because we've had a lot of high wispy clouds uh, but in general it's been really good um, I don't know if I can show you on here I don't know how well it will come out on the uh, video but um, on the first night, uh, the dark shark came out quite nice. Let's have a look there. It came out quite nicely um, with quite a nice bit of detail. And on the second night, I got a lot more data on it. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through with Blink because I stacked all of the data. And there was some areas where the stars were, um, there was some haze up and it's put some halo in on the stars. Um, everyone seemed to suffer it last night. So I've just got to go back through and uh, remove the subs with that on it. It wasn't on all of them. And uh, yeah, and then when we get the third night, adding that too, we should hopefully have a really nice image of the, uh, of the Dark Shark Nebula. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that done. And uh, I've uh, been talking to a few other people, um, Karen and Andy from the group, and they've uh, recommended some uh, targets for me. So, um, and ones that I fancy trying out are the Waterfall Nebula and the Seahorse Nebula. Um, they look really interesting too. So it's been great. I've, uh, I'm going to come away with some more targets that I fancy grabbing. So it's been a really good experience coming on the Cloud Camp. I've loved it. Um, been really cold it's going to apparently be minus four tonight so i've got my long johns on and a few layers hopefully i won't be too cold so i thought uh i used my dslr tonight i've got it on the az gti uh, in equatorial mode powering it by with a sky watcher power tank got my mobile phone down there and it's all connected through the scene scanner <clears throat> but I'm just using an intervalometer and uh, my ERSR with a 50mm uh, lens on the end I've got a juice, juice strap on that to keep the, uh, the old uh, dew away don't think you can see the stars unfortunately but uh, I've set it up for 200 subs taking a uh, 20 second at uh, ISO 1600 and uh, we'll see what it captures. So, looks like uh, I've got some interesting shots of uh, Orion and uh, the general Barnard's Loop area. I'm just looking at the final subs and they were going into um, 
I can see the road in the distance and it's picked up the cars driving about and um, other things like that. So uh, that's quite interesting. So I actually haven't used my uh, AZ GCI in quite a long time. I uh, forgot how much uh, fun the little mount was. But uh, with my little 50mm and my uh, EOSR there, that's uh, taking some nice pictures. So it'll be interesting to get that data home and have a look at it all. So I'll just get this part. So sadly, like all good things, they come to an end and uh, I, my experience of Cloud Camp is finished. The guys are here for two more nights and I wish them uh, clear skies, of course. Uh, we've had amazing clear skies. It's been really good. Uh, I've had three nights of imaging, which is uh, more than I could have asked for. Uh, everything's been absolutely amazing. The guys from the Cloud Magnets are just the best. Uh, Harry with his grill is amazing. And um, yeah, it's a good job I'm leaving. Otherwise, I'm going to be leaving Wayne about twice what I came here. So um, maybe a good thing that I'm going. Anyway, the uh, Satnav reckons I've got a three hour, 42 minute drive to get home. So I'm going to hit the road and uh, get back to sunny Westcliff on Sea. And uh, well, until next time, please take care and clear skies.